Okay, so I have always been a messy person, not a dirty person. I think there's definitely a difference, but this is what my office and my workspace looks like after a full week of creating content. Now, some of you might look at this place and think that it looks disgusting and it's gross and that you could probably never work out of here. But for me, I actually know where everything is. I never waste any time looking for anything. I just know exactly where to reach or where I left something and I just know where to find it. So I'm able to move from one task to another without having to, I guess, completely clean or reset my office. Except for cups, I do have a bad habit of letting cups pile up not gonna lie about that so the question becomes does organization or being clean lead to being successful and some of you have probably heard at one time or another that one sign of someone who is intelligent or a genius is generally messiness now i'm not saying i'm a genius or anything but I'll just say that Einstein was a messy guy. Now I spend every Saturday getting my office back to working condition. So I will do a clean, I'll reset, um, I'll vacuum the place, I'll dust my shelves and things like that, I'll clean up my desk. And that's because I don't work on Sundays. So when I get to my desk on Monday, it's clean, it's refreshed, it's brand new and ready for me to go. So what is this video about other than people that want to see me clean my office or see how messy my desk space is and how messy my closet is? I don't wear like 90% of those items anymore. so. I do need to make a visit to my local donation bin really soon because I've been meaning to empty my closet and just throw out a bunch of clothes just because I find that I don't wear a lot of those things anymore. There are a lot of things that I bought back when I was in high school or university and it's been quite a long time since I've been in school. So this video is about my three tips for messy creators and I don't want to say messy, let's just say creators who like to keep it moving and just want to be going from one task to another as quickly as possible. These are my three tips for you to help you keep your space looking as clean as possible while you do that until you actually get the opportunity to go ahead and reset. So hopefully these three tips and these three items that I use in my everyday workspace to try and keep my space clean while still being, I guess, sort of a messy person should help you out. Okay, so first up, we've got this little drawer that's in my desk. Now the desk is from FlexiSpot and the drawer is also from Flexi spot they did send me both those items obviously this video is not sponsored by flexi spot in any way but i think having a small little drawer inside your desk is a huge lifesaver now making sure that the fact that it's small is actually key because that keeps you from overstuffing it and putting too many things in it this drawer has a ton of my essentials so my watch any of my rings my uh wallet which i can generally never ever find um, I have a feeling it's in my pocket today though. And yeah, it is. So for once I know where my wallet is, but usually I have no idea where it is. I try to keep it in here, but yeah, like my memory card case and all these things that I quickly want to move off of my desk, some cables and things that I'm using really often. I just try and put in this drawer and there, it's quickly accessible because I'm sitting right next to it all day. So I'm able to get whatever I need from it really really quickly and this just helps me keep my space clean overall okay let's talk alex drawer from ikea now every single desk setup that you've probably seen has one of these but trust me these are so absolutely key i keep so much stuff on here and if it wasn't for this drawer i swear my office would be everywhere like it would literally look like somebody threw up tech all over this room now i love this because it just lets me stuff a lot of things in here the bottom drawer is like all FPV gear is just like stuffed with it. I don't even think about it. I just put everything in here. And I also keep my wires, my cages, my tools, and all the other things that are probably too big to put in this room in here. And it just helps me compress all of my office junk into this drawer. And it also keeps me from putting that stuff everywhere else in my house because my wife would probably get pretty upset if I started leaving all this camera gear across the house. But yeah, get yourself an Alex drawer. I also recommend you guys look into one of these um, divider organizer things if you're gonna if you have a lot of cables because I have a ton of cables and my first drawer is just literally dedicated to putting all the cables in there and using that little organizer divider to separate the cables by type. It's not always in that condition. There are a bunch of different types of cables there right now together just because when I'm quickly working and moving around, I'll tend to put them back wherever. But generally by the end of Saturday, they are all back together. Okay, and the last thing I think you guys should get is this trolley right here. Now this trolley is also from Ikea. 
and I use it to store a bunch of items that I don't have space for on my desk and in my drawer. The big difference is that the trolley is obviously open or open aired or whatever. So I can easily reach in here and just like grab something if I need it. So I keep like FPV controllers and all this other random tech that I generally have more of a need for and I quickly need to access. So I keep that stuff in here. Um, it also has wheels so that lets me move it around pretty easily if I want. Um, I've got an outlet in there which is plugged into the wall because it's open and so it's it's actually what's powering this little electric light thing I have in here and initially when I set up this space I wanted to make it a charging area which is what I do I use the bottom rack of this for charging because again it's open so I got all the wires coming out and I'm charging a bunch of my tech in here usually whenever I'm preparing for a shoot but yeah initially this was supposed to be a charging area but i do love the trolley again it's from ikea i'm able to move it around it's open it just lets me dump in things in there while i'm working so i don't really have to think about keeping them on my desk okay so that's it for this video now hopefully there's some b-roll at the end of this of my office and desk space looking clean and not like this because I did record this entire video before filming all that b-roll so hopefully right now there's b-roll of the clean office playing right now by the time you see this video but hopefully those tips help you out um, if they did let me know if you're also a messy person and you think you're clean and you're trying to keep your office set up as clean as possible let me know comment down below what your office usually looks like that's it for this video though I'll see you in the next one and until then keep creating